Hello everyone, in this video let us learn how we can use uh, script runner behavior to make issue links mandatory. So today we want to do something uh, really interesting. We want to make the issue link field uh, mandatory and my requirement is uh, not just to make this field uh, mandatory but uh, I want that whenever the user is trying to create uh, an issue and trying to use this field called uh, linked issue I want that if the type of uh, the issue is let us say is cloned by or maybe is blocked by only then the issue the next field the link field should become mandatory and once the user has uh, created the issue any further link that he or she wants to add to the same issue he or she should also be prompted to uh, make sure that uh, this uh, field is uh, mandatory if only if there is no other link of that type which is is blocked by so we basically want to make sure that whether the issue is being created or being edited uh, there should be at least one link of type uh, is blocked by or maybe is cloned by we'll uh, probably figure it out later but uh, we want to do it for a specific type of link so for for adding a new behavior i will go to my uh, behavior section and i will uh, create a new behavior I'll probably uh, name it as uh, mandatory link and uh, I'll uh, make sure that uh, I will add a field here now the field that we want to work on is uh, issue or rather linked issue so this is the field where we want to check whether uh, there is a there is a specific type of uh, a link that uh, the user is trying to add and uh, we also can map this uh, behavior to maybe uh, to maybe a specific uh, project so let me first save the behavior and uh, I'll add maybe one mapping so I'll probably make sure that this behavior is applicable on uh, Android development uh, project for all issue types and you can of course change it if you want now after adding the uh, mapping if you go back to the behavior and if we click on the fields uh, we have the option to add uh, this uh, server side script if you don't see this uh, option here you can uh, click on a link here there is there is usually a link here that says uh, add server side script and uh, you can use this code i'll share this code uh, so that you can also use it so the first thing that I'm trying to do here in this particular uh, piece of code is that I'm trying to fetch the issue link field now whenever you're working with the issue link field uh, you need to make sure that you use uh, two um, options here basically if you want to fetch the type the link type you need to use this uh, uh, method called get field by ID and then you need to pass in this argument which is string called as issue links hyphen link type and at the same time you can um, also fetch the value of uh, this particular field and you can do the same thing for the actual link so this particular piece of line will uh, or rather this uh, link type value variable will uh, store the or will uh, look for the value that uh, people or the users will be selecting under the uh, link type field and the next uh, issue link the actual uh, uh, issue links will be stored in this particular variable called link field value and uh, then I'm looking for uh, the inward links so whenever you're working with uh, linking in issues you have to handle the outward and inward links uh, separately we have made a video on this particular topic issue linking you can take a look at it but for this particular uh, video uh, let us just focus on, on focus on inward links and uh, we may want to look for a specific type of uh, issue uh, link now if you go back to the uh, linked issues uh, we have something 
called as is blocked by i'm guessing it is uh, an inward link type so i'll uh, use this string in my uh, in my code here and this piece of code is basically doing two things uh, first is it is checking whether there are some existing links if there are uh, no existing links and if the type of the uh, link that user is trying to add is is blocked by then make the field make the links field uh, mandatory so links field is basically the uh, the whole set of two fields otherwise make it false uh, which is uh, not false so when i say false uh, i'm using this method called set required uh, which is true uh, the, the argument is true or uh, the argument could be false now you can uh, save this and uh, let us quickly test whether this piece of code is working or not if i close this uh, existing screen create screen and i try to uh, create a new issue so we are trying to add a bug which is fine and uh, we have this field called uh, linked issue so this is right now not mandatory but if we select is blocked by then uh, these two fields are now required so let us test it very quickly if i add maybe a summary here and if i try to raise this uh, or try to create this issue i am being prompted to enter or select any uh, link so let me select two uh, two issues here and if i click on the create uh, button now i should be able to create this issue because uh, we made sure that the user if is selecting this type of link called is blocked by then the field the linked issue field becomes uh, mandatory now we can also click on the edit button and uh, if we take a look now the linked issue is now is blocked by but the field is not mandatory and the reason is that there is already a link or in fact there are two links uh, in the issue and if you go back to the piece of code we are actually checking wh whether there are already links there or not uh, in the uh, in the issue so if i remove both the links and uh, if i now try to edit the issue then this particular field linked issue where the type is is blocked by if it is selected then the linked issue field will be mandatory if i change it to something else then we are back to uh, usual so this is how you can uh, use uh, script in a behavior for doing this uh, kind of uh, checks when you are uh, trying to create issues now there is one more thing that i want to show you if you want to basically also do some uh, logging basically you want to see whether so when, when you're working with script script runner behaviors uh, you don't really have a console here where you can take a look at the output so you can def def definitely use uh, logging and uh, you can uh, uh, use this log.debug where you can uh, print these variables in your log uh, so i'm just uh, printing out uh, my uh, my link value or maybe the type that user is selecting or the actual issues if there are any so if i save this piece of code and if i go back to my behaviors there is one more thing that uh, needs to be done when you are working with uh, behaviors and you want to do logging you can uh, click on this uh, link here that says enable logging uh, using this uh, enable log option you can uh, take a look at the log file and uh, it will help you in uh, debugging or troubleshooting your scripts or maybe it will assist you in writing scripts when you are trying to understand uh, whether the values are getting captured or not so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much